70s, thousands of chicken heads rained from the sky in Europe, what? making foxes and other wildlife confused and very happy. There's no way, really? How? They were filled with a vaccine to fight the deadliest virus known to humanity. Really? Since the 1930s, a rabies epidemic had been sweeping across oh, rabies. in Europe, and humans wanted to finally get rid of the virus. Yeah, once and rabies, for. okay. Rabies is named after Lyssa, the ancient Greek spirit of mad rage, and has been I did not know that. for at least 4,000 years. The Lyssa virus? It That's rabies, they're the same thing. Angry beasts and humans into zombies that fear water. But what ah. makes this fascinating is not just how bizarre and deadly its infection is, but also how incredibly good it is at avoiding our defenses. Yeah, rabies is really scary. Viruses exist on the edge between life and death, hardly more than a few genetic instructions that need living cells to multiply. The Lyssa virus is simple even for a virus, it has only five genes, that is, the instructions for five proteins that let You know what they say, the simpler problems, the better. Infect a mammal, Less to go wrong. Its immune system, travel to its brain, make more of itself, and infect new hosts. Let's see what happens if you get infected. It all starts I had, with a bite. I had heard that they actually based zombieism of off of rabies, didn't they? That's kind of what the inspired the whole the zombie thing. your nerve cells, your neurons. They are living electrochemical wires transferring signals throughout your body and can stretch for up to one and a half meters with their cellular machinery on one really one and, and a half meters the other. That's crazy. The terminal is where cells talk to each other by passing chemicals that convey information. Lissa probably binds to the receptors that are crucial for this process. Probably inside the we don't know that nerve cells inside the virus has to solve a big problem. It needs to get to the cellular machinery to take over the cell and make more viruses. And because neurons are pretty long, this can be far away. There is yeah. a solution at hand, though. Cells have microtubules spanning their insides that give them structural integrity. But they also provide a track system for a specialized delivery system. <laughs> Dynion motors are actual motors that use energy and... Those things energies. look weird. They're made from 50 different proteins. Ten times and the human body is so ridiculously like complex. Lissa well, uses one of its five proteins to not even humans, right? Animals too, mammals, and head for the nucleus. any multicellular organism is insanely complex. Well, unfortunately, not much. Usually, when a virus attacks, your civilian cells are crucial in activating your immune response. They notice that they've been infected and release hundreds of thousands of a special family of proteins, the interferons that, well, interfere with viruses. Yeah, we'll have to makes sense. Off, but in a nutshell, interferons alert your immune system to make antivirus weapons. But they do much more. They tell civilian cells to turn down their protein factories for a while, which means that viruses can't replicate efficiently anymore. And huh. interferons tell uh -huh. your cells to become super transparent, which is important because how can your immune cells notice that your civilian cells are infected when viruses hide inside them? Yeah. Your body solves this by creating display windows into their insides called MHC class one molecules. Cells constantly. You guys need to get me better at naming this stuff. <laughs> to your immune cells, what's going on inside them? They take random samples of their products and put them into these tiny display windows to give a peek inside. Huh. Interferons tell your cells to make way more so crazy and become super transparent. If a cell is infected and forced to make virus parts, your immune cells will see these parts in a window and order the infected cell to kill itself and all the viruses trapped within. This is one of the most powerful methods of wiping out a viral infection. That's insane. Unfortunately, Lissa blocks your neurons from making interferons and stays basically invisible to your immune system. Hmm. In contrast to many other viruses... So then it doesn't actually heat, make those windows in the first itself, place. Which would also trigger alarm systems. Instead, it stealthily jumps from neuron to neuron, very slowly making its way to your brain. This phase wow, can take weeks that's to months crazy. and very rarely even years and depends on a bunch of things like if the bite was in your face or foot or how many viruses got into your muscles. Yeah, that makes sense. Lissa is a patient monster. Your face is a lot closer to your brain. Your brain stand. Finally, the immune system catches on that something isn't right and reacts. It dispatches some of your most powerful antivirus cells, killer T-cells, to seek and kill infected cells and wipe out the enemy. 
in other virus We learned about killer T cells. Point, but in rabies, the T cells Mr. T only needs one letter. Foo. Simple Lisa with its five proteins plays a you know reverse card using the immune system's ingenuity against itself. What? Your central nervous system is a very fragile part of your body, and so the immune system has to be very careful. A few haywire yep. immune cells in your brain is a quick way to die. So they aren't free to enter your nervous system. They have to be invited in and can be kicked out. Huh. To protect themselves, your nerve cells... That actually makes a lot of sense. ...self-destruct if they think they're overreacting. And Lissa figured out a way to make infected neurons express this order. No way. So as your powerful defense cells arrive, they are ordered to commit suicide. Now the huh. virus infiltrates the brainstem. Once this stage is reached, you are going to die. Wow. How Lissa kills. One of the most irritating things about the Lissa virus is that we still don't know exactly how and why an infected person dies. That's quite interesting. The usual idea of viruses causing damage is by multiplying rapidly, killing their host cells once they've made enough copies, triggering a massive immune reaction that also does a lot of damage. But this doesn't seem to be what happens here. Brain tissue of rabies patients shows minimal, sometimes non-existent damage. Really? Instead of murdering everything in sight, it's currently thought that Lissa wreaks havoc by messing up the neuron communication inside your brain, so much so that it can't function anymore. Okay, that would make sense. Symptoms like confusion, aggression, and paralysis. Now the virus yep. begins to the aggression still traveling through neurons. It migrates away from the brain. And Pretty much what rabies is known for, right? This is remarkable because after traveling in one direction, the virus reverses its course. After decades of study, huh. we don't know how this works. Lissa ends up saturating your saliva, ready for the irate mammal to bite another and repeat the cycle. Wow. While this seems like the beginning That's of the crazy. Outbreak, luckily, there are no known cases of a human biting another and spreading rabies this way. That's good. Now, the end is near. Yeah, but with you the extra aggression added in there, it's certainly the possible, many right? Pleasant neurological symptoms from lethargy to paralysis. Slowly at first, and then ah. suddenly, organ after organ fails as you slip into a coma. Yeah. There is no known effective therapy. Barely anyone has ever survived Lissa once symptoms begin to show. Yeah, but how did they survive? The deadliest virus we know. Was it just like Except random chance, or there was there something some method to it? A vaccine. Rabies was one of the first diseases humans developed a vaccine for. As vaccines do, it prepares your immune system for a future attack. Yeah, we learned about that too. Weapons ready in high numbers. The horrific tricks of simple Lissa don't work once you are vaccinated. And the vaccine is special for another reason. Because Lissa is so slow in the first few weeks, it can be given to you after you've been exposed. Oh. So you can still be vaccinated after you've been bitten by an animal. Which is super important if you've had contact with a sick wild animal, say a bat, because you often don't even notice a bite from tiny teeth. Rabies That's very is true. a monster, one that has followed our species around for thousands of years, that our ancestors were terrified of, and rightly so. It's That's crazy that they dropped the chicken heads though. Year, almost half of them killed. Wow, so insane. We are far from eradicating this monster. It lurks in the shadows, in forests and animals of all kinds, ready to return in greater numbers if we ever forget how to keep it at bay, or if we continue the trend of being suspicious of vaccines. Yeah, Let's go take your vaccines. Day, humanity slays this monster, so it can become, like most monsters, part of our <laughs> imagination. There are much deeper levels of knowledge to explore about rabies than the glimpse we just Curse Gazad was always good at kind of simplifying and giving a high level picture. On your own can be intimidating. Get you that so intro level education in case you're ready to go learn some more on your own, you can. On lessons to guide you through some of the concepts we showed in this video. These Curse Gazad videos are just so amazing. I love them and I can't wait for the next one. Have a good day.